Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Build a Village, Part 3, Town Hall. Now you see here we have our city, the crowning jewel of our kingdom, featuring all the things you'd expect a fantasy city to have. There's a large castle, the merchant district there, a mage tower at the front, prison, docks, slums, and then behind the mage tower, fading out of sight, a cathedral. But that doesn't complete a kingdom, a city is only a small part of what we're trying to craft here, small part of our kingdom. So what we need to add now are villages and settlements around the edge. And we've started that here, as you can see, with our first village. Somewhere for people to, to live, farm, throw festivals, brew cider, beer, generally frolic around, uh, oblivious to the perils and stresses of life in a city. Now, we've started with our village and created a windmill, a farmhouse, and crafted out an area for us to build the village with a man-made river and flat area. But what we're doing today, what we're doing now, is, as you've probably guessed, building a town hall. But before we do that, we've got to link things up. And so what we've started here is a cobblestone road with half blocks and steps to link up the bridge to the kingdom, bridge to the city, with the farmhouse and the windmill. And then we've, uh, we've come off at the side there to direct the road towards the river where we will be building our first bridge. And you see me here linking up with, with the cobblestone road. Now what I've done with the road is we've got half blocks in the middle and cobblestone steps at the side. And what this does is it gives the illusion of the road being two bricks wide, but the steps add a little bit of irregularity which, which just makes, makes, the, uh, makes the road look a little bit more different. And then we started to build our bridge out of cobblestone again. I considered stone brick, but the village is too poor for stone brick. And I considered wood, but I didn't want everything to be wood because too much wood is a fire hazard for one. And it kind of looks a bit bad as well. So to link up both sides of our river, I've gone for a cobblestone bridge with you see there steps as crenellations and, uh, and steps making up the ramp to the top of the bridge. Now with bridges, I've done the sides first as always. And then I've uh, made the middle kind of arch into the river to give it a bit of support. The river I felt was a bit too long for it to be just a two support bridge at each side. I wanted a, a pillar in the middle, an archway for it to, to rest on. And then once I built up the stone of the bridge, I added the, uh, the wooden middle with, uh, with steps and planks. And then I set about adding a peaked roof, just like the, the, uh, the bridges you saw inside the city. Only, uh, only the roof here is wood and not nether brick step. Toyed around a bit with what I wanted from the sides, and in the end I settled with uh, with a wooden fence set up and, and plain stone walls at the side. And now it was time to head back to the farmhouse and to decorate the front a little bit. I added some, some gravel path here and a small garden with a bench, signs at the side, a few flowers and a tree there in the middle to kind of give that section of road bit of decoration. You see the leaves wobbling like jelly as we go through the time-lapse footage. And now it's time to come across the river and look at our town hall. Now the idea for the town hall is it's based on a building some of you may have seen before. If you've ever played World of Warcraft, if you've ever been to Redridge Mountains, go to Lakeshire and the town hall at Lakeshire is the building that I've, uh, that I've based roughly the design on for our town hall here. It's kind of like a, a rectangular building with an offshoot for a cloakroom kind of entrance, but it's also got a clock tower at the front as well that reaches up taller than the main building's roof. And you see me here using cobblestone and wooden logs to build the supports for the building and the walls themselves. And I went up, I think it was four blocks initially, but then I realized I wanted the town hall main building to be one floor, but slightly bigger than the average room that you'd find in most of the buildings already in our kingdom. So I went up two blocks higher for a larger feel to the room. And then I started to build the peak of the uh, the corridor that goes into the, uh, the, main, the main hall building. And the roof peak isn't like the peaks I've done before because uh, I wanted a, a peak that kind of curved more. It wasn't a straight triangle peak, but it went up shallow and then at the peak itself at the very top it got quite steep. As you can see here, it, it kind of peaks slightly oddly and, and has a slight curve to it. And 
It looks a bit odd now, but when the building is complete, it fits the theme. And I was repeating that with nether brick steps on the main hall's roof itself in the background you see there. And then we came over to the clock tower itself. Now we wanted the top to be fatter than the rest of the tower, and we used wooden steps to stagger that. And you see me here changing the colour of the wood at the centre of the clock tower because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. It had to contrast against the wooden steps you see there, upside down steps that support it. So I used the, the lighter kind of birch, ash coloured wood. And with the peaked roof, I wanted again for it to be a bit spiked. It had to have a curvature, much like the other roofs. And uh, once I'd completed that, I realised I'd done it one too low. The clock tower itself, the top, didn't look square, it looked a bit flat. So I went up one layer with World Edit, and then I capped off the roof. Came back down to the main town hall you see here, and continued with the nether brick steps to build our curved peaked roof. And once the roof was done, it was time to give attention to the walls at the sides and start to develop the windows. But before that, I came around the front because uh, our town hall was a bit too close to the river. And so to give us a bit more space outside the front of the clock tower, outside the front of the town hall, we added a little, little bit of wood and created a makeshift kind of dock side wooden walkway along, along the side of the river and then linked it up to the bridge with our cobblestone step road. I toyed around with the front of the entrance, added some steps, and then came around to the side to start looking at the windows of our town hall. And I wanted a little bit of depth here, I wanted them to jut out slightly, so I used wooden steps as a kind of roof to the window, and upside down steps and fences as a kind of mini balcony. I came around the side and put in three windows at the back, and repeated the same kind of style that we'd done on the main window that you just saw me build. Now once these were done, I kind of took a look and realised they were too close to the floor, so I got out World Edit and moved them up one layer. Then I came over to the clock tower itself and realised I didn't really have the means to make a clock, so what we did is we modified the top of the clock tower to be a bell tower instead. We added wooden archways here with the wooden steps and then constructed a giant golden bell to ring out across our village to remind the townspeople at dawn, at dusk, midday, what time it was, as well as to announce important events, perhaps rally the townsfolk, if there's an attack, if zombies were invading our town, everybody head to the church, head to the clock tower, head to the town hall, that's where we're going to make our last stand, that's where we're going to be safe from all these nasty creepy beasties, until the main city can dispatch some troops to come to our aid. I came around to the clock tower and looked at the windows and I spent a long time tinkering with these windows and deciding how I wanted them. Nothing quite seemed right. I tried adding, tried adding a crisscross effect with the logs there, but finally decided on simple two by two windows with wooden half blocks at the top and then hatches at the side as kind of makeshift shutters. And there we have it. You see the completed docks at the front, the flowers around the sides, and our completed town hall as we fly over and take a look at this magnificent building on the side of our river. So keep your comments coming in about what you want to see from our village, because it's our village, not just mine. Uh, we'll need a name for our village still, a name for the city, and ideas for buildings that will go in our village. So keep them coming in. So far all we know is that we want more farms and a church or some kind of religious building. So I've been Stjin. Thanks for watching this episode of Let's Build a Village. Hope you enjoyed. Hit subscribe and I will see you guys next time.